What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with UFC 291 event highlights. With UFC 291 wrapping up, what are your thoughts on the card? Now, let's get into some UFC 291 highlights. Gabriel Bonfim vs. Trevin Giles Gabriel Bonfim submits Trevin Giles in just 1 minute and 13 seconds in the first round with the guillotine. Here were some of the reactions to his incredible submission. Joe Rogan says his guillotine is just death. Dana White then said, Incredible by Bonfim, 25 years old, undefeated, 15-0 with 15 finishes, hashtag UFC 291. First of all, congratulations on the victory. I guess what are the emotions after a quick quick performance like that? Um, the emotions is to be very happy to be fighting here, represent in the world of UFC and also with the guillotine. I mean, two events, two guillotines, it's just very happy. At media day, you had said you kind of want to showcase your jab against Trevin specifically because he said he had the best jab in the UFC. So, But this was a quick performance and you got the submission. So how did you actually see this fight playing out compared to what happened? Um, I mean, yeah, my plan was to strike. But as you saw it, whenever when that hand got in there, he just went to the ground. So um, I, I, he, proved, he didn't prove himself. And um, I actually proved myself to be not only a, a better boxer, a better striker, but one of the best in the division. Michael Chiesa versus Kevin Holland. This was a hyped fight with Kevin Holland as the favorite, and he did just what was expected. Kevin Holland submits Michael Chiesa with the Darce choke just two minutes and 39 seconds into the first round. Here are some reactions. Michael Chandler had this to say on Twitter, a Kevin Holland with even moderately above average wrestling defense is a scary, scary night for anyone. Ben Askren said, wow, Holland looked great, and Chiesa looked like he was coming off a two-year layoff. Luke Thomas said, Chiesa ate a knee and stopped wrestling on his knees after the shot. That's just enough time for a guy like Holland to score some magic. Hey, there's only one be a mess. That makes you look easy. Immediate day, you said you were gonna knock him out, but you ended up submitting. Oh man, how, how, how do you think the fight played out? Uh, I should have let go of that choke, just stood up and just started punching on me. Motherfucker, get knocked out. God damn it. No, nah, I'm just playing. Uh, no, nah, I mean, coach just kind of caught it. You know, it's like one thing about Kiesa is when he gets put in a very bad situation, it's like he just kind of gives up the submission. It's like uh, maybe he feels like he can escape the submission and then put you in a submission. Uh, and maybe that's the case. Maybe that's exactly what he thinks. But, um, that's not the case, and uh, overall he got submitted, but smart guy, way to avoid brain damage. Every time he feels like he's gonna get hurt, he gives up the submission, and then you're victorious, so. Thanks. Tony Ferguson versus Bobby Green. With Tony Ferguson coming off of a five fight losing streak, he really needed this one. But sadly, in round three, with just seven seconds left, Bobby Green submitted Tony Ferguson after a long, hard fought battle. Bobby Green dominated Tony in this fight, and ultimately, Tony gave up his back and got put to sleep. Here are some of the reactions to this fight. Aaron Bronstetter had this to say I hate to say it, but Tony Ferguson should retire. It's ultimately his decision, but I don't think there's much more that he can achieve in the UFC without damaging his legacy beyond repair. Ben Askren said, Once Green found his timing, he was really relentless and tore Tony up. And he said, As much fun as Prime Ferg was to watch, he really needs to hang it up and find something else he wants to do in life. Derek Brunson said, Wait, why Tony Ferguson never got his title shot when he was on a 12-fight winning streak? Cold world. Hashtag UFC 291. Charles Oliveira reacted by posting a sad face. Well, Bobby, uh, you just beat Tony Ferguson, so I guess what are the emotions after a performance like that? I'd have to watch the tape to kind of feel emotions. I don't, I really don't know about feelings, bro. Everybody asks me about my feeling, you know? Um, it's a performance. I felt like I got pissed, I got dropped in the first round, so I had to play catch up. You know, it ended great, it was a great fight. Hopefully I get that 50 Gs. Those are the most important to me, is giving my money. Well, media day, you said you didn't quite know what to expect from Tony in there. So when the fight is playing out, did anything catch you off guard or did it go according to plan? Everything went according to plan. Everything we drilled, everything we saw, he did everything we expected. You know, um, I didn't know if I was expecting him to be so tough. He took shot after shot after shot. I'm like, okay, he's gonna be, he's gonna be here for a while. You know, I was dropping some hammer fist on his face. I'm like, God, this guy's got a rock head, you know? Derek Lewis versus Marcos Rogerio de Lima. This was a quick fight with Derek Lewis dropping Marcos Rogerio de Lima with a flying knee right as the fight started and finishing him on the ground in just 33 seconds into the first round. Here are some reactions to that fight. Derek Brunson said this, what a ride out for Derek Lewis. Marab Devashvili said, called it. Congratulations, Derek Lewis. Flying knee KO and ground and pound stoppage. Bilal Muhammad said, <laughs> I love Derek Lewis. Aaron Bronstetter gave an update saying, 
Derek Lewis says he's a free agent now and that he wants to re-sign with the UFC, but if he doesn't, it is what it is. Ben Askren said, PFL about to make Derek Lewis a gigantic offer. Jan Blachowicz versus Alex Pajeda. This was a highly anticipated fight between Jan Blachowicz and Alex Pajeda, considering Jan had beat Izzy and Alex moved up a weight class, and there was high hopes Jan would do the same to Alex as he did to Israel Adesanya. But Alex Pajeda came out victorious and beat Jan Blachowicz via decision. Here are some reactions to the fight. Bilal Muhammad said, Alex against the winner of Yuri and Izzy for 205 belt. McMally MMA said, Jan won round one. Alex clearly took two. It's up to round three and how you score Jan getting the takedown but not doing anything with it. Come on guys, we've been through this a thousand times. Ben Askren said, I think if Jan didn't look so visibly tired, he might have won the decision. His body language was bad even though he never stopped fighting. Ben Folks said, Alex Pajeda deserved that decision. But man, he played with fire there toward the end through sheer inactivity. Dylan Dennis said, Easy work, baby. Lauren Murphy said, Ridiculous. Jan won that. Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gagey. Just one minute into round number two, Justin Gagey knocked out Dustin Poirier with the head kick. This was an incredible main event, and Justin Gagey came out on top. Here are some reactions to the main event. Conor McGregor said, Justin, I'll slap you around. Michael Chandler reacted by saying, Wow, congrats to the BMF, Justin Gagey. Aaron Bronstetter said, First time Poirier has been stopped by KO or TKO since September 17, 2016 against Michael Johnson. Alexander Volkanovsky said, Damn, did not expect a head kick KO from Gagey. Wow. Megan Anderson said, Oh my God, what a head kick. Justin Gagey, take a bow. What is it with Salt Lake City and crazy head kick KOs? Bilal Muhammad said, This is going to be an amazing trilogy. Al Jermaine Sterling said, this sport is so crazy, you just never know what can happen. Great finish by Gagey. Poirier was looking so good in round one, too. Trilogy? Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with MMA news every day. Here are the top comments from yesterday's video. Sean Strickland cannot be the fighter who has the best chance to beat Adesanya middleweight. Strickland walks forward in straight line using his version of the Philly Shale boxing stance. Adesanya will piece him up without even trying. If Dana leaves, the new owner will bend at the knees for ESPN. Watching UFC on ESPN Plus is painful. I take double shots of testosterone just to make it through their commercials, and I leave the room when they come on. Strickland is extremely out of his league fighting Izzy. That's why they don't want that fight to happen. No one wants to watch Izzy easily beat Strickland. What does that even prove? That's just a stupid match for Izzy. He gains literally nothing from that fight. O'Malley's just afraid fighters will have to fight top fighters every time, and not who can run their mouth the most gets paid the most, fighting subpar fighters like 90% of his fights. And those were the top comments from yesterday's video. If you want to be featured on our next video, make sure to leave a comment and don't forget to check out yesterday's video in case you missed it.